here we are, Thursday morning, for the hamburger and french fry show. I have no idea what happened to my hamburger, but he's gone mad. Uh, we're sitting in front of our Cadillac number three here, and uh, since apparently he couldn't stop talking, he decided to mute himself, or maybe I did that, I don't know. So, I don't know. Help! Help! Should we? Oh God. Maybe we, he, he did it, I, I didn't uh -huh. do anything. Sure, ow! There you go. So, self-inflicted ah. pain, here goes hamburger and french fry show number two. Uh. Send it. You're just crazy, bro. Speaking of send it, hey, we had Hyperpole uh, last night. Could you tell our friends in America, I know you want to put that back in my yeah, face. Yeah, that's funny, but yeah. Could you tell our friends in America what Hyperpole is and how that's a bit of a unique thing they, they started here at Le Mans because you guys were quick enough to be in it Although the hyper cars, compared to our LMD HGTP cars, weren't as fast as we'd hoped. Are you, are you trying to make it really confusing? Hyper pull, hyper car, hyper this. This is hyper sports Marshall. cars. It's confusing the whole damn time. But I'm putting it on him to explain it. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Jesus Christ, this is a weird one. Uh, so, hyper pull is the top eight. Uh, hypercar. I don't know how many cars are in the other hypercar classes, but basically we all get split. So, uh, but we do hypercar with LMP2s, right? I think so. Yeah, that's, sure. That's brilliant. Uh, so we're still gonna be slaloming or trying to fight for a, a gap in the whole thing. Uh, but at least it, it's not gonna be in the middle of GTs, which is a relief because it's always the most dangerous part of the whole week. It's basically go qualifying in the middle of the GTs when they're in and out of the pits doing slow laps and prepping and gapping and everything. So here we go. We're deciding the grid today uh, with the top eight of pretty much every class. And uh, so we get to do it twice. So give us thoughts on how your Cadillac racing team might do. And what are we calling the car now? There was a name change. It's the Cadillac V-Series.R, I think. Will yeah, Erickson, you got that? I got it right. You Will Erickson's nodding his head. Nodding. Yeah, I didn't good. say something we, totally stupid. We got that one right. All right, uh, thoughts? I mean, is pole reality? How's this? We know the car is capable. Balance performance is something that always kind of dictates. The car is capable, but the drivers there. suck. This is just what he's just said. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, no, I mean... Uh, Come on, Grandpa man, Lamar. I, I don't know. I you mean, honestly, it? there's just... Uh, I think there's a lot of scaredness in the whole paddock of getting the bad adjustment so no one wants to show are we are we seeing the ferrari all out uh if you look at sector times no uh they just went barely quick enough to beat the toyota for principles um but clearly they're not they're not showing their hand i don't think toyota's showing their hand i don't think there are many guys showing their hand i got lucky i got a lap but that was on lap three on tires so um there's probably more in it, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's always a bit the game at Le Mans. It's like, you know, how lucky are you to actually get the lap and the gap? And can you actually manage to have the minimum fuel and the best tires when that happens? It's, it's a bit of a guessing game and, and a bit of a lucky game. But it's a bit different for Hyperpole because traffic's reduced, so luck is a bit less involved, maybe. Today's the last day of running before we come back Saturday start the race at four o'clock yeah it was the warm-up at noon or yeah, something and that's new because usually it's 8 a.m and you gotta wake up at like stupid o'clock and be there and beat traffic and everyone's still sit gonna all be day up. and then it becomes the 48 hours of le mans that's the crazy thing for real is even though the warm-up's a little later you still have to beat 250 300 000 people coming in so everyone's going to get here silly early and then the 24-hour race doesn't start until four o'clock so it starts right around the time when your body's going, I might need a little nap right about now. And then uh, you go for 24 hours himself. straight. Oh, whatever, Mr. Napping in the corner guy. <laughs> no, That's you know who it's hard for? It's those guys, because yeah. they're there until they got... like 1.30 this morning. And then, you know, sure enough, they when were we back here at seven. These are the genuine stars. Like that's not just platitudes, it's, like for real. It's a tough week, man. There's very little sleep involved. They, I think, finished most days pretty much midnight, 1 a.m. Uh, and then they were there like, you know, waking up 6.30. So nights are short, sleep is scarce. And uh, yeah, it's, it's hard. So 
adds up. You, you basically start a 24-hour race on the back foot already on Exhausted. the sleeping. Uh, so it's it's hard, but uh, you know I guess there's a, there's a big price at the end, so everybody's uh, taking one for the team. I took one for the team. Do I have any patches of hair missing yet? Yeah, I, mean, I know it's, it's pretty sturdy because it held up. Yeah, right. I, I am a sturdy guy. Next uh, time, next time I'll take uh, something stronger. I'm surprised you didn't smack it on depilation all the tape way and or then something. rip it. Yeah, uh, that that was nice, like nice stripe. Wait for me to go home and have my wife say, what the hell did Bourdais do to you? But anyways, uh, hey, this is our second hamburger and french fry show. Am I even gonna see you tomorrow or are you Monsieur Le Mans and you're having to do parade and wave flags and kiss babies? I, I don't, I, I'm no different than anybody else. Everybody's kind of stuck no downtown different. from two to five. And then we get some more fun because then there is like a celebration of the centenary from 6 to 7.30. So although we're all thinking like, yeah, the parade is early, we can go home early, kind of get a good night rest and everything. It's like, uh, nope, it just lasts longer. Good news, by the way, if you see your dad, tell him he can everything, everything's good. Good. The cement's, the cement's left the building. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, everything's working. And wow. that's a cut. <laughs> there we go.